Welcome everybody to the last episode of Battlefield 4 Best Weapons here on my channel. And we really have left the best till last. I've seen comments all over my videos for the last three or four weeks of people asking where this video has been. It's taken me a little while to figure out what I think is the best sniper rifle in Battlefield 4. You guys gave your opinion and we'll show that off later. This is going to be a little bit of a complicated video because there isn't just one sniper rifle I want to talk about today. But let's get on with it. Now I'm sure you've guessed by now the first sniper rifle that we're going to be talking about. It's been on the screen for the last 40 seconds or so. This is the M40A5 sniper rifle. It is by far my all-time favourite sniper rifle from pretty much any Battlefield game that this thing has been in. In real life, this thing is a variant of the Remington 700 Hunter Rifle, and as you can tell by the name, A5, it is the fifth variant in a long line of extremely popular sniper rifles. The M40 series has undergone a massively huge amount of changes since its first iteration back in the Vietnam War, when the US Marines decided that they needed a sniper rifle that they could call their standard. Originally, it had a wooden stock, which has now been evolved to a fiberglass one, which is made by Macmillan. And the most recent changes in the A5 variant of the weapon, which superseded the A3 in 2009, is the inclusion of a different barrel, which allows the attachments of a muzzle brake and a sound suppressor. The main reason why the M40 series has been so popular is because it can be fitted with so many different parts. The M40 originally was upgraded to the A1. All weapons were taken in, swapped out and then reissued. Most of these parts were recycled and all of the weapons can actually be interchanged along the way. It's a very modular design, which meant the cost of upgrading was relatively low. The legacy of the M40 is set to continue, with the M40A6 being in development right now. The only thing that's holding it up is the contract for who's going to make the weapon. They're going to be including a longer rail on top of the weapon which allows more attachments to be equipped, and there will be a collapsible stock on the sniper rifle, allowing it to be carried in small vehicles and tight spaces. With all that out of the way, why is this thing my favourite in Battlefield 4? Well, I'll tell you, it's got some really good features for being a good close to medium range sniper rifle and gives you a lot of agility and speed at the same time. You're looking at a rounds per minute of 60, which doesn't sound like a huge amount when we talk about assault rifles firing at maybe 800 or 900 rounds a minute, but you have to remember, this thing is a bolt action sniper rifle, so it does take a little bit of time to get the next bullet into the chamber. With that nice rounds per minute of 60, it's complemented by a magazine size of maximum 11 bullets in the magazine, which is great. It means that you don't have to reload all the time, and that's something that you do have to do with the heavier sniper rifles like the M98B and the SRR-61. It means, again, that you can move around very quickly. You can pop in and out of cover, making sure you've always got that extra bullet over on your enemy. You don't have to reload on somebody who's in the middle of reloading, which means you might be able to pop round, get a headshot on somebody, and then move on to the next opponent. And only to make this thing even faster is its reload times. An empty reload is four seconds, and that's fairly standard for light sniper rifles but at a short reload is only 2.7 seconds. Now, again, looking at assault rifles, that could be considered quite long, but then again, you're doing a lot more damage with one of these things than a sniper rifle. It does 100 damage up to 12 meters, dropping off to 59 at 100 meters. So again, it's not the most heavy hitting sniper rifle, but because the thing fires so fast, it means that you can get two shots off very quickly and hopefully, your enemy hasn't moved that far by that point. The only thing that I think slightly lets down the M40A5 is its muzzle velocity in game. In real life, you're looking at about 780 to 800 meters per second. In game, it's only 480 meters a second. But I think the reason for that is it's meant to be used at close range. This thing has massive bullet drop as well as you start to go beyond 200 meters. You really do have to calculate quite a lot there. If you're using this thing at close and medium range, you're going to absolutely dominate if you've got a fast and furious infantry style. So that is my go-to sniper rifle, the M40A5. But I do have a second love, and that's the JNG90. This thing didn't really get a look from me <laughs> until the latest patch came out, until they increased the bullet velocity. 
it now stands at 670 meters a second. That is absolutely phenomenal for a sniper rifle. That means if somebody is 670 meters away, it only takes one second for the bullet to get there. But of course, you're probably going to be sniping people at maybe 150 to 300, maybe 400 meters if you're camping back in your deployment. That means the bullet is going to go extremely quickly towards your target. You don't have to lead as much as you might think. Stick an 8x sight on there, maybe moving up to a 20 if you've got the if you've got the nerve to control it. Works really well on maps like Caspian Border Rush. I found that that works really well. The footage that I'm using here I think is from Hainan Resort. But overall, this is now a really effective sniper rifle. I really liked it in Battlefield 3 and it didn't get a lot of love until the latest patch. But now it really is a viable choice. And finally, we come to you guys. What did you think was the best or your favourite sniper rifle in BF4? We have the top 5 on the screen right now. Number 5 is the M40A5. It was nice to see that in the top, I didn't think it was going to make it, but uh, it's nice to see it is a, a semi-popular choice among the community. Next, the M98B. That didn't surprise me at all. The thing fires bullets ridiculously fast, they hit really hard and the thing is extremely accurate, although I did think it was going to come in higher above the table. For some reason, at number 3, the L96A1 has made an appearance. A lot of people have been saying in comment sections that they really enjoy using the L96. I think it's a good weapon too, but for the life of me, I can't think why it's third in the list. There are some really other good choices out there. Number 2, again, not what I expected, the SRR61, and it was pipped to the post by 12 votes by the Gold Sniper Magnum. This thing has been a love of mine ever since Bad Company 2. But to be honest, its implementation in Battlefield 4, I don't really know. It just doesn't feel as good as it did back in BC2. Still a great weapon though, and we'll just have a look at that now. This is what I like to call an intermediate sniper rifle. It kind of sits in between the heavy hitters and the fast firers. Looking at 51 rounds per minute, that's very respectable, and doing a max damage of 100 up to 12 meters down to 59 follows the regular pattern of sniper rifles. Where it makes a slight difference is the muzzle velocity at 580 meters a second. It's not as fast as some of the heavy hitters out there, but then again, it's not as slow as some of the lighter rifles out there. Bullet drop standard at 9.81 meters per second squared. Its magazine size does let it down a little bit. At only six bullets in a magazine. That does mean you're going to be reloading more often than not. And it could leave you in a bad situation, especially if you happen to get into a close quarters gunfight, which I wouldn't recommend with the Gold Magnum. And then looking at its reload times, it's fairly standard. 4.1 for empty and 3.3. So there we have it. The best snipers in Battlefield 4, the M40A5, the JNG90, and the Gold Sniper Magnum. Make sure you leave a like on today's video if you enjoyed it. Leave some comments down below letting me know what you think about these top three weapons. Whether you agree or not, I want to know. Leave some comments down below. But thank you very much for watching. Thank you for supporting this series. It's been great to make some really nice edited videos for you guys. Put a lot of faith back into the game for me to see that there are a lot of people out there that still like playing it. But as I say, thank you very much for watching. My name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.